Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day to all of us. I hope all of you stay healthy in this current pandemic situation. Don't forget your mask and hand sanitizer. Wash your hand regularly and take a shower, obviously. Pretty sure you guys heard that message countless of time, and I'm pretty sure you guys get bored by it too. Now we're gonna talk about how COVID-19 affect aspect of our life for better and worse. We're gonna talk about economy. Why are we gonna talk about economy? Because this thing are the one who keeps us in check, are the one who keeps us in balance. Now, there are this thing called global share is in a flux. What does this mean? The FTSE Dow Jones Industrial Average and the Nikkei saw a huge fall in the current situation. The FTSE described it as the worst performance since 2008 because it's dropped 14.3% in 2020. And obviously, every single year, we have our own problem of unemployment. We have our own problem of seeking job everywhere. But right now, at the time of the crisis, this is the worst one. Because the IMF estimated the Indonesian worker every year, 7.35% are out of their work. Okay, that's pretty bad. But now, way worse, the countries are now in recession. What does this mean? If the economy is bad, if the economy is good, and if the economy is growing, that means the economy is more wealth for the country and more new job for all of you to seek. And if we want to have a good economy, we need to have a good future. Because of why? Because the IMF stated that the global world economy has shrunk 4.4% and it's because of the crisis of the current pandemic. They describe it as the worst decline since the 1930 Great Depression era. This is why we need to have a better future. Well, what's the key of it? It's education. But the education is being held back because of the COVID-19 crisis. Because the UNESCO noted that there are 1.5 billion students and 190 countries who are affected by the COVID-19 school closure policy. And from the sum of Europe's highest income countries indicating several learning losses and inequality of learning. What does this mean? This means that everybody doesn't have the same digital technology that we have. The Wi-Fi, the connection, the phone, the devices, the laptop. You and I know what we're talking about right now. Unfortunately, even though we are really supporting this remote learning experience for all of us, it is indicating the evidence showing the learning losses and inequality of learning are just too big to match for all of us. The COVID-19 pandemic has affecting us in all sorts of way in public health, social norm, workforce, economy, all of it. But there's this thing that UNESCO told us. There are 690 million workforce, people who are working, who are currently undernourished, malnourished, and even the half of the 3.3 billion global workforce are at risk of losing their livelihood, losing what they've been doing for so long for feeding their family or themselves. Now, even though it's something bad, that doesn't mean there's no good thing coming of this. We've seen people helping each other. We've seen people giving food, money, shelter, money for helping the economy crisis. This is humanity at its best, not when we fight each other. I will remind you, we survived the ice cold age. We survived the World War I. We survived the World War II. We prevented World War III. We even survived the same bacteria hundreds of years ago, the Dark Plague. Well, let me remind you again, we as a human always fight away. We need to seek help because all of the places we've been to, all of the effect has been affecting us in all sort of way. Let me remind you, if we seek help, if we help each other, we will surely find a way. We will win and humanity will prevail. My name is Dustin Wawachwiski from Bipayano High School. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.